everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, Valentine for Maruo-kun. Tell me something. Hmm? Today is February the 14th, Valentine's Day, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> why do you ask that? Are you going to give someone chocolate or something? <laughs> Only boys seem to get chocolate on Valentine's Day. That's not really fair, is it? So I'm going to give some to my best friend, Tama-chan. Mm, that's not exciting. I just hope it makes Tama-chan happy. Of course, Maruko's expecting a little gift in return. <laughs> my, oh my. Today is February the 14th. Known globally as the day Alexander Graham Bell filed the patent for the first telephone. Oh. Oh, this had better not be what I think it is! <laughs> uh, yes? <laughs> it's chocolate for Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. Is to show my appreciation, son. You really are the most wonderful child that a mother could ever hope for. Thank you so much for your consideration, mother. It's appreciated. I'll work even harder now to match your expectations. I'm going to be the best son in the whole entire world! Inside is distinctly different from the hallway. What's so good about Hanawa? It's so unfair, Boo! Valentine's Day might as well not even exist for us. It's like we're all invisible. Ah! I want to eat some chocolate! Yeah? Well, you're not getting mine. Huh? I'm giving this chocolate to Hanawa so you can stop ogling it wistfully. Hey, I wasn't even looking at it! Hm. Hanawa! I wouldn't want chocolate from you if it was the last chocolate on Earth! Ugh. Such is life, Boo. Morning, fellow classmates. What on Earth is going on here? Maruo, my friend, that world has nothing to do with us. Huh? We might as well be living on a totally different planet, Boo. Try not to feel envious of him. We just have to lead a life where we don't get chocolate gifts. Will you join us, old pal? I'm cringing pretty hard here. Sorry to contradict you. I can't be included amongst your pathetic numbers! Huh? For you see, guys, this morning, I received my first Valentine's chocolate gift ever! What? Yes, you heard me correctly! I received Valentine's chocolate! What? Ahem. Seriously? Serious as a heart attack. If it's true, then show us, Boo! I didn't bring it to school with me. Ha! <laughs> I knew you were lying! I'm telling you the truth! If it's true, then who gave you the chocolate? 
The thing is, huh? I found it in the mailbox at home, and unfortunately, there was no sender's name written on it. See? It's a total lie. There isn't a girl in the entire world that would give you chocolate, boo. <laughs> mm. Incorrect! There is such a girl right there! Huh? It's all beginning to make sense now! You put the chocolate gift in my mailbox this morning, didn't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, it's obvious! Only a handful of minutes ago, you said good morning to me. You have to admit it! Because it's the morning! That's what people say to each other at this time of day. Oh! In that case, it must have been you! No, I swear it wasn't me. Then it must have been you, right? You're scaring me! Was it you? Or perhaps it was you? This is so awkward, Boo. Now, where could that scotch tape have gotten to, huh? Maybe it's in one of these drawers. Oh, my goodness, is this? A g g g gift wrap bar of chocolate? He actually got a Valentine's gift! <laughs> uh, nobody believes I got a Valentine's gift. I have to do something about this or people will think that I'm a liar. It will influence the election of the class representative. Oh, I'm in big trouble here. This is for you, Tama Chan. Wow, thanks so much. Huh? Oh, that's the same chocolate. It's my way of saying thanks for being my best friend. Maruko! Hey, what's the big idea? I deduced that the person that gave me the chocolate was, in fact, none other than you. Huh? Uh huh? The chocolate you just gave her is the same as the one left in my mailbox. Which leads me to believe that you must be the one that put it in there. No, hold on just a minute. Look, Maruko, I certainly do appreciate you pouring your heart out to me with that gesture. But I'm afraid that my biggest priority right now is my school studies. It's with the deepest regret that I tell you that I wouldn't have the time to return your affections. So goodbye. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. That was so romantic, boo. Oh boy, oh boy, there's, there's love, love in the air. air. What is wrong with you three? <laughs> <laughs> Take a good look at what your actions have caused. I just want to know what you plan to do about this. My goodness, I have no idea what you're talking about. Unlike you, I have standards, so why would I give chocolate to you? Except in some ridiculous act of self-sabotage. So you're saying it wasn't you? Not in a bajillion years. Oh, I understand now. Be honest, did someone really give you chocolate? Yes, I swear somebody really gave me chocolate! That sounds like a bit of a stretch. Who would do such a thing? If I knew the answer, I wouldn't be in this mess. You guys planning your day? <sighs> Woo! Woo! Look, at Look at the hot, hot couple. couple! Will you guys get lost? <laughs> we need to get to the bottom of this to get me off the hook. Sorry about this. The question is, who in their right mind would want to give Valentine's chocolate to you of all people? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Just cooperate with this investigation. Right. Hello, Mother. I'm home. Good afternoon, sweetheart. <gasps> you actually brought a girl to our home? Hello there, ma'am. Hello, dear. Please, come on in and relax. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I can't believe it! Here it is. So it's true. It's exactly the same as mine. I got my bar of chocolate from the candy store down the street, so I guess that means it must be someone who lives in the neighborhood. Oh, I wonder exactly what kind of woman she is. Is she graceful and patient and inexplicably attracted to me? Oh, my heart is so full of butterflies right now. Hey, are you all right? What's happening? My goodness. My dear son. Has the inevitable happened? Have you finally grown up and gone to a place where I cannot reach you? <laughs> hey there, Mom. Uh, what on earth is the matter? Oh, my son. I'm just upset because this is the very first time you've ever kept a secret from me. What secret is that? <gasps> Wait, are you talking about the chocolate? 
Oh, Mom, I found it in the mailbox this morning. I have no idea who the sender is. I kept it a secret because I didn't want to give you any cause for concern. Oh, I see. I think I understand now. I don't have to remind you that you'll always be the most important person in my life. My darling boy. But that's not all. To tell you the truth, I was far more excited to find the chocolate from a secret admirer in the mailbox than when you gave me your chocolate. Please forgive me, Mom. The next day. There's no one who looks particularly suspicious. Oh, Maruko, quickly, look over there. Uh -huh. Who's that? Huh? She put something inside. <laughs> It looks like it's just a flyer. Looks like she's innocent. Boy, it's so hard to find a suspect. Life's not like a detective show. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sweetheart, don't run off, dear. Uh, oh, hello there. Huh? You know that lady? Uh. Thank you so much again for helping my son when he fell down the other day. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. You know what? In no time, your pain is going to fly away! In no time, your pain is going to fly <laughs> away! And it seems that ever since that day, my son has become a really big fan of yours. As a matter of fact, it seems as though he put the Valentine's chocolate that he got as a gift from his grandma into your mailbox. I hope you don't mind about that. <laughs> uh, wait a sec, so you're saying the chocolate... Don't tell me! <laughs> no! I think I understand what happened now. <laughs> Detective Maruko solves another one! <laughs> well, you didn't really solve it, but I'm glad that the truth has been discovered. Although I don't know if Maruko will ever let him live this one down. Oh, my sweetheart, I'm so proud of you for helping others. <gasps> In this episode, Treat in the Winter. Oh, come on. It's fried fish again today. What's wrong with that? Don't you like fried fish? No, I'm not saying that. I just mean I would rather have a hot curry on a cold day like today. Yeah, it's cold today. What would you have today if you could have anything? Excellent question. I'd have a steaming hot bowl of cream stew with lots of vegetables. Boy, that would be absolutely amazing on a cold day. No, pork soup tomorrow, boo. Why not today, boo? Yeah, I really have a hankering for some Odin. What about pork soup mixed with Odin? Uh -huh. <gasps> How is it that whenever food is being talked about, you manage to turn up out of nowhere? Yeah, we're all talking about the kind of hot dish we would have on a super cold day like today. I don't even have to think about that. I would say pot dish. Just throw a whole bunch of fish and vegetables into a big ceramic pot and then go back for helping after helping. Mm, that sounds perfect. You really don't want to share a pot dish with this guy. Hot dishes are the greatest possible treat in winter, boo. I couldn't agree more. Oh, hi there, Hanawa. What would you say is your favorite possible winter treat? It's going to be pot dish. The pot dish at Hanawa's house has something expensive like beef steak or deep fried pork in it, I'm sure. That just sounds wrong. Well, I'd have to say that my favorite winter treat is vanilla ice cream created using the freshest possible Ooh. cream. Ice cream in the winter? You can't tell by looking at you, but you're actually a pretty twisted dude. Eating cold food in a cold season? That's really messed up. You've got it wrong. Whenever I'm consuming ice cream, I always make sure the room I'm eating it in is super hot. Even though outside it's all wintry, it's like a tropical resort inside. The vanilla ice cream melting on my tongue will take my heart on a journey to a snow-covered paradise. You ask me what my winter treat is, I'd have to say that's it. Wow! Trust a rich person to have a different winter treat to the rest of us. Uh, eating ice cream in a warm room sounds amazing. I'm gonna do it at my house today. Yippee! What? Mom's not here right now. Right. She had a phone call from the community group a short while ago, so she and your grandmother decided to head out. Oh, I was gonna ask her for some pocket money so I could go out and buy some ice cream. Ice cream? In this freezing cold weather? I think maybe a baked potato or a meat bun would be much better. You commoners are all the same. Always predictably craving something hot in the cold weather. Isn't that what you were craving before? Don't you realize it's all the rage to eat ice cream in a warm room on a day like today? No, I don't know anyone that does that. 
It's toasty warm inside, and the ice cream melts in our mouths, taking our hearts to a snow-covered paradise. Hmm, that does sound interesting. Usually you take a tunnel to the snow country. Let's go and grab ice cream right now, Grandpa! Yes, I think that's a brilliant idea. I can't believe how easily Tomozo is led by a child's argument. I'm really sorry you took the trouble to come here. So you're saying it stays empty for the duration of winter? I'll sell them again when the weather starts to warm up. Feel free to come back. <sighs> oh, rats. No luck here either. It's all right. Let's go and try the shopping district. Mm. Huh? It's closed. We just can't catch a break. <laughs> I'm freezing. Maruka, why don't we give this a rest for today and go home? There's no pressing reason why we have to have ice cream today. Oh. Today's the last day of harsh cold weather. Temperatures will begin to huh? rise drastically tomorrow. That's terrible! It's gonna start getting warmer tomorrow! Oh, that'll be a nice change, won't it? Have you completely missed the whole point of eating ice cream in a warm room on a cold day, Grandpa? Oh, yes, I forgot about that. What do we do? There's no ice cream for sale, and the cold weather is only today. Next is a story about children in Hokkaido. Huh? Everyone is full of energy, even in the snow. I'm jealous. Hokkaido's gonna stay nice and cold. Huh? I just had a brilliant idea, Grandpa. Good. So now all we have to do is wait for the ice to freeze. Shaving ice is so much easier than buying ice cream at this time of year. I'm proud of myself for coming up with this. From what I've heard, it's super popular to have shaved ice on a nice summer's day. But I bet there's hardly any households that have shaved ice in winter, even if we looked all over the Shizuoka area. I should tell Hanawa we're doing this. It will blow his mind. It's all well and good to have ice cream made from fresh cream, but it's even better to have a freshly shaved strawberry frappe, isn't it? Oh, golly, this room is freezing cold! Well, that's because no one was in here. Let's get under the blanket. <laughs> when the heater isn't turned on, this kotatsu isn't very warm at all, Grandpa. Don't worry, it'll warm up soon. Just endure it for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's finally getting warm. Yes, I can feel my old muscles starting to loosen up now. But I still feel kind of cold. There's cold air on my back. I don't particularly feel like eating shaved ice in my present condition. Yes, I know what you mean. Here's an idea. How about we go get my hibachi stove out of my bedroom to warm this room up? Yeah, that sounds good, Grandpa. All right, let's go and get it right now. Hmm. Why don't we do it after we've warmed up a little more? Good idea, Maruko. I've only just started to get feeling back into my poor feet. Once you're in, you can't leave. That's what a katatsu is like. <sighs> Hibachi stoves are really heavy. We've got a problem. We can't carry this in there, and we can't bring the kotatsu in here. Heave-ho, heave-ho, I think that was really clever of you to think of using the cushion to move it. My sister and I used to drag each other around on them when we were younger. <laughs> Once we get that hibachi stove in there, things will warm up quick. Yep, and there's just a little bit further to go. Heave-ho, heave-ho. <sighs> it's so warm. Yep, I'm so comfortable now. But to be honest, we can't really call this a tropical environment, can we, Grandpa? This is more like a Shizuzoka springtime at best. I suppose it's a bit mild, isn't it? That's it, then. We have to make this room so hot that it's like a raging inferno! <laughs> <sighs> well, I'd say it's getting pretty hot now, don't you think? I sure am looking forward to that shaved ice right now. <laughs> Why does ice take such a long time to freeze? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit dizzy now. This is like a heat insurance contest. Ah, I can't take this! <sighs> that cool winter air. Goodness, that's some sweet relief right there. Uh. Uh. 
Ooh. <laughs> I'm cold. Here, my dear. Thank you, Grandpa. Ah, it's so lovely and warm. I think you've been exposed to too much cold wind. I put a kettle on top of the hibachi, so it should be nice and humid in here soon. Yeah, we just need a little bit more to get that tropical feeling. In a few minutes, we'll be living in tropical bliss. That's right, just a little more. I'm home. Huh? Oh, what on earth is going on in here? Uh, well, it's good to have you home, sis. Goodness, you two are as red as boiled octopus. Uh, <gasps> uh, you two better start explaining yourselves. It's quite simple, really. We were trying to eat some shaved ice. You were trying to eat shaved ice? Hey, Grandpa, you know something? I bet the ice is frozen. Maruko! Maruko! Foolish child. How many times have I told you that that's how you get a cold? You even moved the hibachi. Sorry, Mom. Looks like you have a slight fever, too. Eat some warm porridge for dinner and then stay in the futon to keep warm, okay? Okay. I'm so sorry, Maruko. I was supposed to take care of you, but you got a cold instead. No, don't be upset. It wasn't your fault, Grandpa. But you know something that would make my fever a little bit more bearable right now would be some shaved ice. Sorry. Huh? I'm afraid that we don't have any ice cubes. Well, we just made a whole bunch, didn't we, Grandpa? Yes, we did. But we used them all up in this ice bag for your fever, sweetheart. Uh-huh. Maruko was unable to have even a bite of shaved ice. It looks like this particular winter treat will have to wait until next winter. <laughs> <laughs>